never get enough track oh! Oh! Wake up, Wednesday. What's good? What the fuck is good, Wednesday? What the fuck is going on? Holy shit, this is a big day. Ah, yesterday, rest day, I think. Wait, is today Wednesday even? I think so. Whatever. I had two good days of working out. It feels like Thursday. <clears throat> I guess the first day was Sunday I worked out. Anyway, two really good days of working out. Felt crazy. If you listened to the podcast yesterday, welcome to the show. I don't have any intro. Dunk Life Daily, we out here. We out here Wednesday. I had two good days of working out. Felt great. Yesterday was kind of a rest day because I went hard and I wanted to see if I could maybe dunk today or have a hard day today. So I kind of took it easy yesterday and then ate so much. I gained two kilos. I gained two kilos of drugs in my system. I'm just kidding. It was but literally two kilos from the morning to the night, which is friggin' six pounds. I'm 182 pounds last night before I went to sleep. I'm already sweating. It's not even that hot out here. I think my body is like ready to go nuts. I gained so much weight just because I'm super bloated, ate so much food I don't normally eat, all the different factors, hydration. I fueled up for today. I'm fueled. So today, knowing that and knowing I want to get back to my fighting weight before I get back, I want to go absolutely nuts today. Yesterday, I talked about awareness of my body. I felt super good, felt super lean, so I'm not really too worried about the weight. The scale might be off, whatever it is. I do feel really good, but I do want to get some jumping in today because I had a little bit of that stimulus the other day, but um, I... uh, I feel like I really need to burn a ton today because I don't want to come back really heavy and sluggish and just way out of shape. I, I had I made good progress. I've been doing cardio. Yes. Okay. Today, what I want to talk about is comparing yourself. Judge yourself. I love it. Compare yourself to others is what you should be doing. I know what they say. This is not the norm, but let, hear me out. I'm comparing myself to the top tier athletes, physique people, um, podcasters, everything I do, I compare myself to them. So... The point I'm saying with that is that, for example, my physique, trying to get lean. I have friends that are in crazy shape, so I'm trying to get to their level and constantly comparing myself to them. I'm not comparing myself in a judgmental and looking down. I'm like, I'm trying to get to that level, and it's constantly pushing at me because there's other ways to look at it, too. I can go to the gym, and I'm dunking, and I'm dunking better than every single person in the gym. Sounds arrogant, actually, because I don't know how to say that, but it's true. Nobody's really dunking, but all I do is practice. But when they say, how do you, like, they see me doing that, I'm not even shocked because I've done a windmill 100,000 times already, and I'm super proud of it, and I have fun every time, but I'm comparing myself to my boys, like CJ and Isaiah and everybody like that, that are fucking, he did a behind-the-back elbow and a 360 under both yesterday and dunking in games on people's necks. So that's what I'm comparing myself to, and I feel like I have such a long way to go, and I think it's healthy because it keeps my mindset of that's my, my baseline is so much higher or my whatever, my level. So whatever you're doing, I definitely think finding people that are doing it better than you and trying to match what they're doing with with your resources, like me, podcast, freaking Columbia, on vacation, uh, one man show, uh, professional mic, capturing all the birds in the background, hopefully, not really the most, uh, the best mic, whatever, good camera, getting my quality, everything I can do. One thing I learned from this podcast so far is that my camera needs to defrost. It's so freaking cold when we sleep and I bring my camera outside. If I try to film too quick, it's super foggy. So I brought it out here first thing in the morning. You learn, you got to do it. I would never know that if this was my first day. If I tried to do one video for the first time and make that the killer one, would have fucked it up because I wouldn't have enough time. I have to get to breakfast. I have to have my day. I have to live. Dunk life. I have to live. I have to live a little bit. (laughs) I don't know where this is going. Point is, push yourself. Make the most of what you can do with what you have and try to match those people that are already doing it. I'm trying to make this channel the biggest. That's my next thing I want to talk about is my goal. My birthday is in four months in five days, I believe, December 4th. I'm trying to hit 50K by then, and that's just a goal I have. I have no clue how the growth is going to go. You know, your boy might hit that friggin' tidal wave, and I skyrocket to 500,000. Point is, shooting for 50,000, I think it's realistic, and also, it's just going to push me to make the best possible content all the time, every single video. So I want to have that one goal in mind, so it's my North Star, and I'm constantly reminded of it. So I'm saying it here now. Let's get it. I already tweeted it. No one follows me on Twitter. Let's go. Um, that's it. I got to get to it today. I'm feeling thick, but I'm feeling like I'm feeling lean, but sort of thick. I don't know. I feel super bloated from dinner. I, had, I went off. I had some desserts every day, um, but I feel lean and light. I don't know. It's, it's a hard feeling to not know what, what I'm weighing and what I'm feeling and all these different things, but I'm super excited to go super hard today. I'll put my workout on my Instagram, whatever I do. It's probably just going to be a ton of jumping, maybe running on the beach, probably film some of that. Um, 
yeah, feeling really good otherwise. Looking forward to getting back to dunking. If you're new to this, this is on podcast. Subscribe. Put the notifications on YouTube because it helps me out pretty much. That's the only thing I really need to say. But also, I do this freaking daily. So if you miss one, it's gonna, you're going to get behind quick. So I think it'll be helpful for the channel, helpful for you to catch up with these things because I like to start with the energy. I am your leader in energy every single morning, vacation or not, rain or snot, <laughs> allergenic kids. See what I did there? Um, we're out here. People on their balcony, babies are crying. They're looking at me. I'm doing a podcast out here on vacation. Let's go. Okay. Have a great day. What's up Wednesday. And, um, oh yeah, got to do your favorite part on this day in history. Every day is freaking history. I'm making history. Let's see. On this day in history, July 31st, 30 BC, that's before comets. Battle of Alexandria, Mark Anthony achieves minor victory over Octavian, but most of his army subsequently deserts, leading to Octavian's invasion of Egypt. God damn it, Octavian. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, 1961, shout out to mom. Israel welcomes its one millionth immigrant. She'll like that if she listens. I bet you she comments about it. Hi, mom. Um, today in film, 1912, U.S. government prohibits movies and photos of prize fights. In parentheses, censure, cens- wow, censorship. Today in music, 1959, Cliff Richard and the Shadows have their num- first British number one single with Living Doll, biggest British single of 1959. Thank God. Today in sport, 1928, Halina Konopaka of Poland hurls discus world record 39.62 meters to win the first gold medal in Wimples, Women's Olympic Athletics and the Games. American Lillian Copeland and Ruth Swedberg in Sweden take minor medals. Thank heavens for them. And now, the dunk lifer of the day. I got to respond to these comments, and I will. i just been busy. Um, Sky, my boy. More DLD, the tan of the skin, baby. That's right. I'm getting tan as shit. Trying not to get burned. MGN on knee skin to rim, dunking with skin. These fools, I'm jumping out of my skin. Love it. And then my boy, Adam. You apply awareness, I apply sunscreen. It's hot out here in these streets. And Crazy Rabbit says your mom is cool. And shout out to the first... Clement the Kerpel, the first. Anything else I wanted to, there was something else I wanted to say, but I guess I'll save it for tomorrow. I'm out. I'm going to go nuts. Check my Instagram. I took amazing pictures of the city I was in yesterday. If you're trying to follow my vacation, I'm also trying to make my photos of everything. Chase the best in whatever you're doing. Compare yourself to those. Don't be hard on yourself, but push yourself to get to that level. Surround yourself with that. All I see is the people, the elite, the people doing the most, and I want to do the quality. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm doing great. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing great. Whatever. I want to do more. It's about more. It's about energy. It's about fucking elevating the energy. Let's go. Toodaloo. That's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem.